<laughs> Welcome to my home. This is a bag reveal. So this is boxer duffel bag. So I revealed, I unboxed this on a live, but this is my showcasing. This is the back of the bag. So here is, oh, you know, when I bought, when I opened this, I didn't quite look at everything. Apparently, whoever sold this to me um, is in California. And there was a card there and a little book of big dreams. Let's see what this is. It's just a little empty booklet. That's cute. It's a cute little book of um, just graph paper. And let's see, there's a bubblegum wrapper, a Whopper, a Burger King Whopper wrapper. That's hilarious. You never know what you're going to find in bags. You just don't. Now, this bag needs a good cleaning. Obviously, I didn't check in all the pockets. So I need to look. Ah, so this is supposed to have leather straps, black leather straps from the top that go over and tuck in here. They have been removed. I think they have been removed. They they haven't, um, it looks like they were here and it looks like they were cut out. If what I'm looking at is correct. Um, so that was one of the flaws in this bag because I was like, there's, the there's something wrong with this bag and I couldn't figure it out. So I asked my friend who, who knows everything and he says, I there should be some straps here and I went and looked and like there should be some straps there and um they're not there because they were removed so whoever owned this bag there is an there is an air there is a flaw on the inside and I knew that I knew this coming into it I knew that there was a a flaw here this bag was only thirty dollars I'm not going to sit here and quibble over a lining rip um like this I can repair that I really can I can actually sit here and just stitch it now where did I put my sewing kit um because this is an easy repair now like in in the real world you could sit down and you could unpick this and you could you know redo the whole lining but i don't need to do that this is barely a problem i'm not going to even patch this i'm just gonna it's just ripped and i'm just gonna sew this actually i'm gonna clean it first because i can tell that this needs some tlc on the uh cleaning department and um yeah so I, this does not deter me from using a bag. Again, I bought it for thirty dollars. Um, if it doesn't have all the aesthetic details, that's fine. It's fine. I'm happy with it the way it is. Um, so we are going to do some repairs on this. We're gonna fix it up. I'm going to do some washing on it, um, inside and out, and then we're gonna see how this how this turns out. I really do love the Reed Karkoff bags. Um, and this is, again, a beautiful bag. And I don't think just because there's flaws in something that you just stop using it. So design-wise, this should have two black belts coming down. They're not there. Um, they were there. Looks like they were removed for whatever reason. I don't know. Um, but this belt is still here. And so I'm okay with this. I'm kind of wondering how to make this look more intentional. Um, the way they had shown it on their, I guess the posh site, when they had shown it, they showed, they showed it instead of being belted the way I had it, they had it shown like this. So I just figured they didn't realize that it was supposed to be belted in a knot. So apparently, I think they did know and they knew that it should have those belts and they were hoping nobody noticed. But again, they were selling this bag for $30. I'm okay with that. This is a bag that's worth so much more to me than $30 plus tax and shipping. So maybe $50 all in. Um, it has black. It has a, a taupe color, kind of like a beige taupe and then a brown. Uh, not brown. Sorry. This is like a, a dark, a brown olive, brown olive. This needs a good saddle soaping, but what I can't tell you or I can't, you can't feel what I can try to tell you is that this is so soft. Like, I would not be surprised if this was like lambskin or something. It's so soft. This bag is utterly beautiful. It's, for me, um, a definitely useful bag. I'm going to definitely use it. Um, I'm probably going to belt it like this um, instead of the knot the way it's supposed to be, just so it looks a little bit different or looks a little intentional like it's supposed to uh, look like that. But in general, I think this bag's beautiful. And I might actually put some decorative items on here to make it fit more with my my, my style and I was actually thinking of hanging some charms off here because when I noticed it was missing I kind of had a feeling it was 
not disclosed. So anyway, um, and, and whoever took the belts off, they did a great job. It's almost imperceptible that these should have had belts up here. It's only because there's a little bit of the leather left right there and a little bit over here where there was an impression of the belt uh, that I could tell that the leather belts were here, that they were just cut off. Maybe they were damaged and they just decided to cut them off because this bag, I mean, there's a rip on the inside lining. Um, it needs a good saddle soap. It needs a good wash on the inside. It needs a little bit of maintenance, but in general, this bag is stellar. And for $30, this beautiful bag, I am beyond happy and i kind of like the fact that it's kind of jacked up because now i have the liberty to um do more to it because what i want to do to this is get some patches and this is a beautiful leather so it's kind of a crime to put adhesive on a beautiful leather like this but it's also one of those fun things to do on a bag that's already been a little beaten up is you make it look intentional and I'm going to put like some travel patches and uh, make it look like um, personalize it, customize it, make it more unique. They don't make this bag anymore. This company doesn't even exist anymore. The designer has moved on. This was his namesake design. Um, and um, it only went, it was only in production. The whole business was like for five years or so. So what's in the world is in the world. And I'm trying to find as many different varieties of them as I can because I love them. So this is the duffel boxer. I have the regular large boxer. I have the medium boxer and I have a mini boxer on the way. This is the transatlantic tote and I need to get a regular transatlantic. And then I think my collection of the variety of bags that they have will be complete. But um, thank you for watching my video. I will give updates on what I do to this gorgeous thing and there'll definitely be a clean with me video at some point and uh, have a great day thank you bye